Hey everyone, welcome back to Pavli. My name is Akib and in this video, you will learn to connect and integrate paper form application with Telegram. So this automation is going to be very useful in managing your customer service processes effectively. Let me show you how. So here in this use case, uh, we have created a customer service request form with the help of pa paper form application. And as and when any customer is going to fill this form to submit their request for any services that you provide, a message will be delivered to your team on Telegram group automatically stating them that this customer needs this type of service and they can do uh, whatever is needed. Okay, so this is how it is going to work. And to make this happen, we are using Pabli Connect, which is an integration and automation tool. And guys, the best part of setting up this automation is that you will not require any coding skills or programming knowledge. So anyone can set up this automation very easily. So now let's set up this automation together. So guys, the first step to set up this automation is to log in into your Pabli Connect account. So guys, to log in and reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect, you can use the link that we have pasted in the description for you from where you can set up your free Pabli Connect account in just two minutes and it will provide you 100 free automation tasks for every new month, okay? So after setting up your account, you can log in and reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect like this. And on this page, guys, you have to start working by creating a workflow of automation. So to create a workflow, you just have to click here on this create workflow button. And here uh, you can give any suitable name to your workflow. So let me fill the name here. So here I have given the name to this workflow as send paper form responses as messages on Telegram automatically, okay? So now you can click here on this create button and you can see your workflow getting created here like this, okay? And on this page, guys, you will find these two things, the trigger and the action. So this automation is going to work on these two things only. So the trigger is the happening of an event which is going to trigger or start this workflow, okay? And the action would be the response towards the trigger. As in our use case, the trigger would be a paper form submission and the re response or the action towards that trigger would be to send a message on Telegram automatically, okay? So first of all, you have to set up this trigger here. So from this choose app field, choose your trigger application first, which is paper form. Okay, select it. Then select the trigger event as new form submission. Okay, and it will give you this URL. This is called as a webhook URL, guys, and it is used to fetch the data out from any external application to Pabli Connect. So with the help of this, we are going to make the connection with paper form and you can follow these instructions to do that. Just edit the form and in the submission option, you will find the webhook. Okay, let me show you the exact process written here. This is my paper forms dashboard, guys, and here is the form that I have created, okay? So let me show you that form also. So this is the customer request form I have created, okay? And here you have to click on edit. Okay, and in the edit section, uh, hover on this after submissions tab and then click on integrations and webhooks. Okay, and from here scroll down and click on webhooks and here you have to add a webhook to make make the connection so just click on oh sorry just uh, here in this field you have to paste the webhook url that you got here so just copy this webhook url from your workflow and paste it here in this field like this and then click on add webhook okay so you can see a new webhook is added here okay now here you can see and Pavli Connect, as you have copied this webhook URL, it started showing this waiting for the response. So this means now you have to perform a test submission. So test submissions means now you have to fill the form on behalf of any demo customer and we are going to capture the response, the demo response or test response here in this workflow. Let me show you. So guys, I am going to my form that I have created. I am going to open this form. This is the customer request form, guys. Here I'm putting the name of the customer, a demo customer as Rashi Pradhan. This is the email ID of that person, the phone number, the address, the service requested. Okay, I am a new system installation. Okay, new Linux systems installation. This is the request 
added by the customer okay now I'm clicking on submit here and you can see the submission is successful now let's check in Pabli connect if we got the data of this form submission and here you can see in this uh, response receive section in you know in your workflow here is the data that we have received Rashi Pradhan is the name of the person who have filled the form and this is the email IG this is the values phone numbers and this is the uh, service request okay this is how you can capture the data from the form now you want to send a message to your team on telegram application about this service request that you have received that to automatically and for that to happen you have to connect telegram application in this action step so from this action step choose the trigger oh sorry action application now as telegram search for telegram here telegram bot actually okay search for telegram bot select it and in the action event would be send a text message or a reply select it then click on connect okay and from this window select add new connection and here it will ask you uh, ask to enter the token so guys now you have to create a bot in telegram application and then you have to add that bot in the group in which you want to send the message and that bot is going to deliver our, our message to our team okay so let me show you the exact process how you can create a bot you can follow these instructions written here let me show you how you can do this so guys, this is my telegram web application and from the search bar i'm going to search for bot father bot bot father so you will find this blue ticked bot father here click on it and here you have to message this bot father slash new bot okay so let's send this message and it will instantly reply like this all right a new bot how are we going to call it please choose a name for your bot so here you have to give a name to your bot so let the name to the bot is service bot let's say service okay just service right now here it is asking good now let's choose a username for a bot and it must end in bot like it has given ex given us the example like tetris bot or tetris underscore bot okay so i'm going to give a username which is service underscore one underscore bot okay okay so this username is actually invalid let me try a different version hmm let's say paper form underscore bot okay and and a new bot is created here you can see done congratulations on your new bot and you can find this bot at this link okay and here it has given us this access token which is the api access token First of all, just copy this token from here. Okay, like this. And paste it here in your workflow in this token field. Okay, then click on save and your connection will be completed with Telegram. Right? Okay, and you also, uh, you can see we are connected now. And here you have to add this newly created bot inside your group in which your team is present. So here is my group, Team Pabli. Here is uh my team members are chatting for different reasons and here you have to add the bot so i cannot show you this in my computer screen but you can add this bot in this group very easily from your smartphone so guys i have added uh, this service bot uh in this group and now uh, go back to your workflow and here you will see this chat id option so here you have to enter the chat id of your group to send the message on that group okay so to get this chat id you just have to open your group telegram group here and in the search bar you can see after this hashtag you will have you will see this string of numbers where, with this dash sign so just uh, sh copy this whole string of numbers uh, with the dash also okay copy this and this is actually the chat id of your group and paste this string of numbers here okay now it is asking for the text message that you want to send to your team so you can customize any message that you want to send let me type it here so here i have typed the message like this hello team we have received a new service request from blank service demanded blank thanks and regards and here i'm going to map some data that i have received from the very first step so from the paper form we have the received we have received uh, the 
the response from the paper form like this okay so first of all i am going to map uh, this data the name of the person who have uh, submitted the request form here so we have received the service request from this person let me show you when you click here you will find this paper form uh, news form response option in the drop down and when you click on it you will find all the data that you have received in the first step so from here only you can map the name like this okay and the service demanded you can uh, map the service uh, that was demanded by this person from the same place you will find a label where you can find the service request description okay okay and also you can add the address of the customer so that your team can know where they have to provide the service from the paper form only i'm going to map the uh, map the value of the address okay right and also if you want to map the phone number you can map the phone number also so here you will find the phone number as well this is the phone number okay so this is how you can design a message for your team okay and when you map the data like this what will happen as and when you receive a new service request this mapped data is going to change and a new message will be delivered with the new data okay that's why mapping is important here now uh, you can disable no notifications for this message also make it yes and if you are sending any link you can set link previews here we have just a plain message so this is not uh, required right now let's check our connection with telegram if it is working properly or not so i'm clicking on save and send test request and a message will be delivered to my team on telegram so you can see we got a message here and the message is this you can see hello team we have received a new service request from rashi pradhan service demanded is new linux system installation address is this phone number is this and thanks and regards so this is the same pattern that you uh, have mapped here and created here okay and we are done setting up this automation so you have to set up this automation only once guys after that you don't have to do anything manually here let me show you a real-time example i am going to uh, submit this form again and i'll show you how the message will look like so here now the person who's filling the form is heather khan and here let me type his email address okay the phone number let be this only okay let me change the address a little bit the service requested is um, okay any i'm just showing you the demo so i have just uh, anticipated this request okay and here i'm going to click on submit and i'm going to submit this form and you can see the form is su submitted and we have received a new notification new message on telegram let's see what is there and here you can see we have received a new message we have received a new service request from heather khan service demanded is new antivirus needed and this is the a whole message okay so this is how it is going to work in real time guys and the good part is you can use this same workflow that i've just created because i'm going to paste the link of this same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application Please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.